Hello everyone. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. So, good evening everyone. Um I want us to talk um and I'm going to start first things first with a moment of silence for a very young and talented Nigerian actor who passed away in an unfortunate incident earlier on today. Um, so let us have, let us observe a moment of silence uh, for this young man. It is a great loss to Nigeria as a whole. It is also a great loss to the entertainment industry. And it is also a great loss to all our people, wherever they are in the world. May the soul of Junior Pope rest in peace. So we'll observe a moment of silence for Junior Pope. Uh, and then we will go back to our usual broadcast. Okay, so may the soul of Junior Pope and every other person who lost their lives in that particular incident rest in peace. Um, so that we may go back to today's broadcast, uh, first of all, I want to start again by apologizing for my words that were very harsh yesterday. I have no excuse. Anger is not an excuse. If in anger I slap my wife, he don't turn, say, I beat woman. There's no excuse for not being able to control your anger. Uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, in my bid to try to prove myself right, I went to say something that affected the lives of Nigerians abroad. So once again, I apologize now let us go to today's topic someone say now why now uh -huh. someone say now why you go slap your wife normally i know they slap my wife i've never hit my wife ever before uh today for the first time i felt very bad about that thing a lot of people don't know that i felt bad I felt very bad. People, they called me, they cussed me, I they begged them. One guy called me, said, that if you say, no, say, be wary. I said, no vex. No vex. Another guy tweet at me, say, oh, daddy freeze. You be wary. I type on one line, I don't apologize. Normal me, the people where they troll me, I will troll them back. This one, for waiting I talk, any troll where you want troll me, go ahead, I deserve them. Any troll where you want troll me for that thing where I talk, say, make they bring all Nigerians where they there back. Any troll where I troll, any troll where you want troll me today. Today is rapture free day. So troll me any talk, anything where you want talk, talk am is free. When we get back, when we move past this and we get back to our normal programming. If you troll me, I troll you back. But as long as you are trolling me on this particular matter, I have nothing to say for myself because true, true, I messed up. So those of you who say I be mugu, I be mugu. Those of you who say I not get sense, I not get sense. I not go argue with you. Those of you who say, ah, daddy freeze, you know, think before you talk. In all fairness, if I thought before I 
spoke i for not talk waiting i talk i just they vex i not think so you are right okay somebody say i don't hide that one i know high i did normal uh -huh. uh, forgiveness forgive me i'll be human being i thank god say i don't talk past like that and i thank god that i did not start tagging authorities because the damage for the irreparable at least where it did now sorry no vex stiffy repair something there was a time when david make i read one small bible for you there was a time when david was crossing and i'm not sure many of you know this part of the bible There was a time when David was in exile. In you can find this story in 2 Samuel chapter 16 from verse 6. Or maybe let's say from around verse 5. Verse 5. So 2 Samuel chapter 16, verse 5. Asking David came to Bahurim. A man came out of the village cursing them it was shimei son of gera from the same clan of saul's family he threw stones at king david and at the king's officers and all the mighty warriors who surrounded him get out of here you murderer you scoundrel he shouted at david the lord is paying you back for all the bloodshed in saul's clan you stole his throne and now the lord has given it to your son absalom at last you will taste some of your own medicine for you are a murderer why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? Abishai, son of Zehurah, demanded. Let me go over and remove his head. No, said the king. Who asked your opinion? You sons of Zehurai. If the lord has told me to curse him, who are you to stop him? Then David said to Abishai and all his servants, My own son is trying to buy me. Doesn't this relative of Saul have even more reason to do so anybody that is angry with me today you have the right to be angry with me i will not rob you of your anger someone said i insult pastors i don't insult pastors maybe i used to those days and if i ever insulted any pastor i apologize for the insult does not mean I will not criticize them. Let's 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 differentiate between anger and criticism. S sorry, insult and criticism. So I will still criticize your pastors. I will still criticize anybody that I feel is not doing what they are supposed to do, but I will do it from the place of respect i will do it from the place of respect someone said what about people's parents if person insults me and i insult the person parents now i know the problem now i will not insult your parents first but if you come and insult me i will insult your parents that i will do because that has been my brand and i'm not going to change my brand what happened is me saying what i said about innocent nigerians innocent nigerians who are going about their work in the uk many of them got there through cos Many of them are doing amazing things and sending money back home. I do not want to jeopardize. Let me tell you something. From this Okunora matter, I fully and officially remove my hand. I do not want to. I do not want to be the reason why anybody is sent back home. So. 
somebody a lot of people are typing junior pope has passed on yes we did a one minute silence for him when we started this show we did one minute of silence for him when we started the show so some of you are just joining so you don't know that we started with a one minute someone said you don't even have the power i don't have the power and i don't even pray to have such power that i can do my brothers and sisters uh any harm so um we need to go back to our regular uh programming for those of you who are just joining now we had a moment of silence for the late actor junior pope may his soul rest in perfect peace so let us go to today's topic someone said you should have um someone said you should have returned the woman's 150k to be honest i don't want to talk about this anymore let's let it go let's move ahead and let's have today's conversation uh someone said let's suspend the show sadly we cannot suspend the show radio stations are going to play music the only thing we're going to do is we're going to like we did give one moment of silence so let us move on i love you all all of you who have stuck out for me i love you all um i thank you all for supporting me uh for all of you who someone say you don't humble if what i said is going to jeopardize the lives of innocent nigerians i should be humble though. i should be humble yeah. so let us move on to today's topic all of you saying um i should refund the woman's 150k the woman took five thousand pounds from people and did not deliver she paid me and i did the work so why should i refund her in fact she's owing me money because i gave her a free interview worth 1.5 million go to my page you'll see where she said she collected five thousand pounds from people that's what started this anger that somebody who went to collect money from people and did not deliver is now coming to complain about me but like i said i don't want to talk about this issue again I want us to move to a conversation like we've always had. This matter has lingered for too long. And when matter linger for too long, na problem it they be. People go, they look for waiting, you go talk, and before you know it, you will say something. So let us just move on. And my Nigerian brothers and sisters, they say if I cook food, for one village the village go chop and finish but if one whole village decides say they want cook soup for me i no go fit chop and finish the matter go remain so if all my nigerian brothers and people that have never been angry with me before were angry with me over this matter people who have never been people who normally would look at my matter and pass dropped comments sent text messages sent messages dropped emails so i think i owe everybody that apology and everybody that conversation to all the youth in diaspora who are hustling to all the youth in diaspora who got to the uk through whatever means you got to so that you could Create a better opportunity for your family. I apologize to you too, and I send all my love. My biggest audience is the UK, the US, and Canada. Uh, I am not too big to apologize or too old to apologize. And if you say, oh, Daddy Freeze is humble, I should be humble. Making a statement like that about Nigerian youths, especially when they did no wrong to me, deserves an apology and my humility so please if you all may 
can we move on with today's topic and i will plead with you not to mention this particular topic again let us move on to other topics there's so much going on in uh, the world right now there's so much we can talk about there's we are having so much fun uh, except for what happened today uh, and once again may the soul of um, junior pope rest in peace so let us begin so let me tell you how this story started a friend of mine who is exactly my age he was born well let me tell you his story in no knowing bed day because he was born in the village but well, he was a very smart kid so he shall found his way to town got double promotion you know did very well and we eventually met in the uni so one day his birthday is may 5th my birthday is may 6th so one day i was it was my birthday i said if you are may 6th do you know i'm may 5th i said really that means you were born i was born on thursday 6th of may 1976 so i felt that oh that means you were born 5th of may 1976 he now said well that he wasn't really born on 5th of may but 5th of may is the day they wrote as birth certificate on his birth certificate because they had to fill a date they didn't know they knew the year they knew he was born in 1976 because it was three years after they gave birth to this person and it was three years after they built the family house and it was so the shah could locate the dates but then they said it was at the beginning part of the year during the rainy season so they just sat down and didn't just choose one date say okay may 5th so that wasn't really his birthday but we are sure the same age in just no no in real date so three years ago he and his wife separated his wife was cheating you know and over so many allegations because he was abroad hustling abroad sending money home trying to get his wife to come his wife not just shall get paper no matter how they try so where did they do that matter he can't realize say out of the two children where they're born one no being own so they ended the marriage they went through their separate ways they divorced and all that the guy really loved this girl because she was the girl the, you know when they say the girlfriend of your youth she was the girl he started dating when he was like 13 and the girl's family did not want him to marry her because they felt he was a poor kid and the girl came from a rich home so the guy shall hustle, go abroad, go school, on top scholarship, shall hustle, hustle, hustle. He shall come back, marry the girl. But then the family never really liked him. They never really ac accepted him. And eventually he divorced. So after going through three years of divorce, I told him, get a babe move on with your life he said no that he loves this girl so much he can just not leave her like that so i left him only for him to call me two days ago and say daddy freeze i'm thinking of moving on and i spoke to an uncle of mine and the uncle said i should go and look for a young girl that would listen to me and that he will bring up so i disagree with the uncle you are a made man now you've been abroad you have your doctorate you are rising in your field um you are rising in your field why should you go and pick up a young girl he said there is this girl he met that the girl is in a nigerian uni she's 24 years old he wants to marry her i said he is my age i'm 48. i said why would you marry your daughter's age you can't cope with a gen z girl he said yeah but our mates there's no 40 year old that is unmarried if there is a 40 year old unmarried according to his words that means she'll be defective 
So the only thing he can do is marry a younger girl who has never been married before. I said, if you think your ex cheated on you, be prepared for another round of cheating. So, here's what I now advised. I said, find a girl in her mid-30s who is either a divorcee or a uh, single mother or a widow and pick up the pieces of your life with her instead of you to go and start from the beginning, start afresh. Instead of you from to start afresh with a Gen Z at 24, you know, get power again, you are 48. How much power do you have to deal with a Gen Z girl? So why don't you jump and pass and get someone who's like 35, who has been in a relationship before? Because you are a divorcee. Why are you going to marry a single girl? Why can't you find someone who has been in your own situation before? So my question is, this advice, is it good or is it bad? What are your thoughts? So let us talk about that. Um, who wants to join and have this conversation with us? So I'm going to start with Otun K. So I'm waiting for you. Hello. Brother, Hello. how far? I'm good. Wow. Good evening. Good afternoon now. Good afternoon, good evening. People, they watch from different parts of the world. Yeah. So I was following your story. Mm. And I was, as we were saying it, I was telling my wife that um, the advice you just gave is probably the best. Mm. Reason being that they will both be both um, wounded lions. Mm. You know, so, and um, they will have learned from um, their past mistakes mm. and bring their experience to the table. But um, in the case of going for a Gen Z, both male and female, at that point, still want to have adventures of life. Mm. So, if you feel, oh, um, let me get a small girl that will listen to me. Oh, no. <laughs> She's not going to listen to you. She mm. might initially, then she gets bored. Mm. And apart from the fact that the age difference is there, the interest is wild. Mm. You're dealing with someone that is born into a time of technology. Hmm. You, you hardly catch up with the trend on the internet. Hmm. She is always on top of the stories. You go also for money, come back in the evening tired. She's gisting with you and you're snoring and nodding your head. She'll hmm. be bored. <laughs> so hmm. there are a lot of things that will add up to so many issues. Forgetting about morals this time around. Hmm. But just talking about um, natural phenomenon of life, you are not in the same bracket or the same intersect let me use that word mm. so i believe um the 35 the 40 year old gap is a very good advice from you to him. Mm. 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 sugar destiny what are your thoughts and please i'm heartbroken what happened my darling we just lost somebody. Mm. Junior Pope. Mm. I saw I saw the news. I saw the news. And we had a moment of silence. Uh, Honestly, it's mm. it's really, really touching. It's really sad. It's really Very sad. sad. Somebody who left his house healthy, strong, so you know, make an S mate and he didn't get back home. Mm. I just imagine how the wife and three children, how they're gonna survive this, like like he eventually did a pray 
death video or whatever, sorry, quiet video or whatever. Like, as if he knew that it was going to happen. And he was so scared, even in that video. In the boat, he was very scared. I don't know why people shoot movie in the, in the river. I don't understand that. <sighs> Anyways, that is free. Uh, back to your topic. Yes, my darling. Mary the Gen Z. Yeah, this Mary woman of a thing, honestly speaking, I, I just love the face? way you handle it. Can I, Very can, matured. Can you come a bit? I'm only seeing half of your face. And you are a fine girl. <laughs> and the freeze have been crying. My okay. lashes even fell out because of the tears. So because of your lashes fell out, you don't want to come. No, I'm crying because of Pope. It's I've been crying sad. for him it's and my lashes, sad. I have to take it out. It's like, very sad. I'm very so sad. pissed. It's very sad. It's very sad. It uh, is. Be so it's resting very, very, very sad. We have, we have definitely lost. <laughs> we have definitely lost someone who would definitely be missed. Um, funny enough, I don't know the kind of bad luck that I have. I never, I never knew more bad until he died. I knew of Junior Pope, but I'd never watched any of his movies. I'd never had any personal interaction with him. The only, the first time I heard of him was when one of my followers in the Free Nation then posted his picture and said, "Happy birthday, Junior Pope." This was like four, five years ago, and then I was like, "Oh wow, who is Junior Pope?" Then she said he was an actor maybe like five years ago thereabout and that was the only time uh but like you said a woman is at home waiting for her husband to go to work and come back it just shows how fickle life is you are here and you are gone it's 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 the same thing with mobad he didn't have cancer it, it was not in an accident he was not sick one day we just hear saying don't go and it just shows how transient uh life can be so should we have a moment of silence for him now and then we continue with our uh regular programming um let us have a moment of silence for him um as we pray for the lord to receive his soul a moment Amen. of silence for everyone please let's honor junior pope Yeah, so therefore, this Mary of a thing, I think you've tried, like, you have really explained yourself very much. And I think maybe moving forward, we should just, you know, let's talk about something else and forget about this Mary of a woman. It was very obvious that actually she was actually sent to you if you ask me because i don't see any reason after making a program and she called you and asked you to delete it i still ran to someone else to open up the case again mm. so she came with a bad motive from the very beginning mm. uh, yes destiny. let's not talk about that though destiny. let's kind of shift um, on that topic i appreciate your love you know you are my sister and you always stand for me and I appreciate you wholeheartedly. But I think we should move away from that. Any explanation I've given, if I give 30 explanations, those that will not understand will not understand. And those that will exactly. still come for me will still come for me. So I believe I've explained myself enough. I believe I've explained myself enough. And it has led to me going to say something I shouldn't have said you understand and the nigerian youths are all angry with me right now which they should be i don't blame anybody for being angry with me for what i said about uh, the cos issue and i have apologized so thank you my sister for watching out for me but let us move to today's topic um if there's anybody who has any questions about that uh, incident they can dm me privately uh and we can talk about it uh, you know, or DM any of my people who are close enough to me. I'm sure if there's anything you need about that particular incident, yes, can I go, please? It's okay, my I'm sister. I'm not in the right senses it's right okay, now, my please. Sister. It's okay, my sister. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sugar Destiny. So, um, back to us, Ibiri. What are your thoughts? Oh, okay. I was struggling to unmute myself because of the chats in there. Um, so my thoughts are, well, first of all, DM, I have a little request. Mm. Can you please make me moderator when I leave so that I don't I know. Instagram has removed that uh, button. 
I don't have the moderator button anymore. Okay, okay. Because I really wish I could just help you in the comment section. No, no, leave the comments. So leave the comment section. Things. But anyway, today, today, um, as far well as the gen the, the guy was married to somebody in his own age group before, right? Yes, they grew up together. He now left his age group, they then he wants the to go age. for somebody that is like as young, young enough to be his child. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like going from fry pan to fire. First of all, you people are like worlds apart. Like, even me, the, the difference between me and a Gen Z right now is so vast that, like, I cannot interact with Gen Zs unless they are mature, unless they have a certain level of maturity. A lot of them just have not got enough life experience. And that experience is very necessary to at least process certain things, especially in marriage. Marriage is not things. So if you want to go and say you want to marry somebody that you're old enough to actually give birth to, I mean, that's your own... Whatever you see, you get. But he, he may end up... I mean, there are marriages where people marry way older. I mean, Celine Dion, for example, married somebody that was, what, 20 years plus older, mm. and that worked out. So you never know. He may be lucky and he'll meet a good person and they mm. can live happily ever after but the chances of that and him saying that no 40 year old like if a 40 year old is still single then it means that she is defective yes. that actually says a lot about him that's wrong that says a lot about him and his own mindset as well that's very wrong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. lord darzy you're mad i'm sorry that if i don't want to come out <laughs> <and do it. laughs> I just had to, like, what the hell? Like, do you know me? If you see me in person, can you talk to me? Are you okay? Anyways, so back to this topic. This uh, man, he's 40 year old. He's saying that 40 year olds are defective if they're still single. That's a very weird and distorted mindset and says a lot about him as a person. So he probably already has his own flaws. And who knows? Who knows why his marriage really ended, right? Because we hear it from his side of the story. His marriage may have ended due to his own problems that he needs to fix. So if he's there looking for somebody else that can cope with his faults, then he is the problem. And he needs to fix himself before he goes into another relationship. Hmm. 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 Oh, yeah. You wanted to say something. Can I? Can I? Okay. I was asking if I could go back to the comments to go and tackle all the No, don't fight anybody. Don't fight the comments sections. Today is a fight free day. Today is fight free day. Mm. Anyways, it's okay. It's cool. Sorry, sir. Let me let you talk. I'm going to mute now. Let's let's all right, let's, all right. let's let our brother talk. All right. So, um, well, I agree with what you said. Um, why? Because the guy needs to work on himself based on the comments he's made earlier about generalizing the people or women of that age. Um, a situation that happens to someone doesn't really relate to another person. Mm. So if you feel that um, for a woman to be 40 years old, that means she's got personal issues or, or she's got this and that, you don't know her story. You need mm. to know her story before you judge. You, can, you, should, you should not even judge if you even know the story because mm. you cannot know what it feels like to be in that person's shoes. So um, to me, he needs to heal up. From what he just said, that means he is still hot mm. from what the woman did to him. So he needs to heal up so that he doesn't go and affect the next person. It's so difficult to do, but it's just the right thing to do. Mm. You understand? Mm. Most people transfer problems to the next person because they fail to heal up. And mm. there's been a circle of violence all over again. So I believe she's, she's right. She's right about it. He needs to heal up and he needs to look for someone of his own mental state or someone in his own range where they could coordinate themselves and work together as a partner. But at that age, all he needs is a partner, someone to be with, someone to talk to, someone to go out with. He cannot have the strength of a 30-year-old man or a 27-year-old man and so on and so forth. So he needs to just understand that part, that that years are gone. And he needs to look forward to the future. And move to the future, he needs someone to be in the same boat in which you believe in. So I can't believe in having a boat of a speeding boat and a can a cano. And you know, the speed are so different from each other. So imagine someone that is used to a cano movement 
as long as moved used to a speeding boat movement. Mm. You need to look for where your speed lies. So mm. in this case, he needs to follow his speed. He can't follow the jersey speed. Those guys are on top speed. <laughs> Those guys are on neutrals. Mm. Because their mindset, their brain, their thinking. Just two days ago, I was telling my wife, there was a program on the UK radio yesterday, and they were talking about Gen Z. Mm. The concern of Gen Z alone. Why? Because the attitude at work, the attitude in society, at home, you know, is just so different from every other person's thinking. Mm. So even if a whole country can, you know, single out a particular generation, then you decide to leave your own generation, the next one, then go to Gen Z. I, mm. sorry to your friend. Mm. <laughs> it's a sorry case. <laughs> so that's my opinion about it now um why did he say um because one of the things he said was ah, at 40 if you have never been married before and you don't have a child then it's like there's something wrong with the woman now here's what i wanted to say i personally will this uh, um what I wanted to say, this um, analogy is he still wants to have a child. It is hard for a 40-year-old to start thinking of having children at 40 or after 40. I don't know if I'm making sense. So if he plans to have, if he plans to have a child, what he should have done is he should have... Uh, he should have, how do I put it, um, chosen someone that's at most 37. So they have three years. Like 35, 36, 37. Perfectly. So, can I bring somebody else? Let's let's make let's take this argument a notch higher. Let me bring in Brian oh. Jarba. Now okay. The dear, has he never had a child before? He has kids. He has kids. So why does he want to have a child if he's already if he already has kids? Why does he want to have another child? Uh, <laughs> because he just feels he's wearing chickens or something. Uh, why exactly see, does, no, it's true. Why does he want to have more children One if he's already that old is. and already has children? One thing you exactly? need to understand is... But some people don't like having children. Hold on. If I have to three wives, back. if, for instance, I married Brandy and we broke up and we had two children, <laughs> if I meet a Beery, I want to have a child with a Beery. Maybe it's the way my mind is working. Maybe it's not the <laughs> right thing, but maybe it's the way my mind... I want to at least share a child because I don't believe me and you can I be can married read. say we don't get picking. Mm. At least no girl will want to So if I can't break up with a beer later, can't go meet Sugar Destiny. Even that Sugar Destiny, so at least I'll be born with So you now have time. children everywhere. I think, I think. Uh, yeah. So at least, because, because the intimacy of a marriage is also raising children. I understand, yes, you have children yeah. of your own, I have children of my own, but if the two of us are married, it's always good to have at least one child between us. Am I wrong? Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Good evening everyone. Daddy Good evening, Daddy Good evening. Good evening. That, that the face that you want to do like the Jay Z body man now, like that, because he wants to be. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> now, you know what I think? I don't. I just think, uh, especially our men, African men. I think uh, eighty percent or seventy percent they have this mentality that when um, a woman is more than forty or from thirty eight up upwards, and uh, they think if, if you don't have a child, there's a problem with that person. Hmm. I just think the mentality eighty percent that if it's eighty percent of African men, hmm. they have that mentality. A woman can be at 40, you know, she, 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 she don't have a child of her own yet. That doesn't mean there's a problem with her. You understand? I know after 40, like 40, we women, um, our time runs very fast. You understand? So 
I know from 40, if you don't have a child, I think you should, if you want to have a child, you should consider it like, you know, planning and all that because I think after 40 is very difficult. That one is the sincere truth. Mm. You understand? Because of our time, because of monopause and all those it's stuff. You understand? It's nature. Because of our, the tube is going to be more slowing. Some people that will used to have, uh, when they are 40 from 39, they're already having problem of the tube. You understand? So it's just a normal, I think 80% of African men, they have the mentality. Why some people, they are just fine. You know? Mm. Mm. That's just that's just it. But I think any woman, but my opinion is any woman that wants to have a family, I think from thirty, from from twenty eight, as you the men said, from twenty eight. Do you have any children, Brandy? Brandy, do you have any children? Ah, that the first I told you before, and I had a baby uh, two years plus ago. She died after I gave birth. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah, she died. Sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. For that new community um, guide. How old are you, if I may ask? <laughs> what cast me again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Now let me that the first day let they do this thing too. No vex. You know that they always talk eh? my age. Okay, let's all of us tell our age. Me, I'm 48. Brother, you are... Ah, that's the piece you're begging me, man. <laughs> okay, Ibiere, you are how old? Ibiere, how old are you? I mean, don't be bad, you. I'm 26. Oh, thank you. Ah, you think I will tell you people my age? Uh, I'm 27, uh, man. Uh, that the piece, me, I'm 29, though. <laughs> and I know they're serious. <laughs> Yemi Silk said something. Yeah. Now, now, let me ask you: a forty-nine-year-old woman with no child, or let's say forty-five-year-old woman with no child, do you think she has a problem? No. no. Ah, that is free. No. Let me tell you that is free. I have a colleague. I have a colleague of mine. She's uh she's fifty-two. Agnes. She just had a baby. There's nothing wrong with her. She just had a baby. Mm -mm. So I don't really think there is there is a story I saw. Uh an Indian man, she, the guy, the man is almost 90 something. I think the woman is almost 90. They have a baby. Exceptional yes. cases. Those are exceptional cases. I know couples that have been married since they were 28. They are now 43. Mm. They're never born. They never feed born. So, the okay. older you get, the fewer your options as a woman. Now, let us not deprive a man of... Ha you see, you need to understand how an African man's brain is wired. It is, good in, is, 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 is a good thing that we have, we have moved away from the son mentality. An African man, during my father's time, if he like me, get 20 daughters. If he never born one son, he never born <laughs> <laughs> so we have moved away from that let's say thank god yes, now a, good a typical african man i know many african men who don't give birth to two daughters and they don't lock shop they're not, they're okay. but that one that you now tell an african man that he does not need to have any children of his own make it go adopt all i think that is us now pushing the western narrative too far down the african man's truth i don't yeah. know if i'm wrong Today, if a man comes up and says, Ah, why are you go and give your side chick belly? Because my wife had only daughters. Everybody go bash him. <laughs> but if somebody, <laughs> says, if somebody says, Why do you go and give your side chick belly? The guy can't talk, say, Ah, my wife. I, didn't mind me that. I, I felt like, Ah, if maybe not me get problem, I tried it outside and it worked. There is a higher tendency for us to forgive that person. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do, but it's more understandable because whether you like it or not, I am, I can have my own decisions about my faith, my religion, my life, my culture, but I still have a father. <clears throat> I still have an uncle. They will not understand that I chose not to have children if I've never had a biological child before. They go, they worry, say something they wrong somewhere, something they wrong somewhere. Or maybe I'm but that the there are still some men that if their wife didn't give them a child, they still have that mentality. 
There are still some men like that. Yeah, but is that funny. Nigeria? Yes, it's people's view. You can't change everybody overnight. It's yeah. <laughs> because I, I, I have a cousin of mine. I have a cousin of mine in Milan. He said, no, if my if he marry a wife, not born boy, he saying go go marry another woman. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, there are still some men. There's still one guy. There's but still one guy, the cab guy that I use one day. Oh. There's one cab guy that I use one day. I went to vacation and I met this guy. So I, I, I someone gave me his number. I said, okay, you can be coming from the, the coming to the hotel and take me around. Maybe buy me food if I want to. It's African delicacy. You understand. That guy said the same thing. Said, I know a wife must bomb boy for him now. Uh -uh. And then, um, but you know, uh, and I know you probably know this, but so let me just say it again to remind us all that this, like the gender of a, the gender of a child lies on the man. It doesn't lie on the woman. Mm. So from as much as we want to say, oh, this thing is our African culture, is our African culture, let's understand that. We make the culture. The culture does not make us. We mm. can change the culture. We can shift from any culture that makes Africans look stupid. We can actually shift. If if Africans are stupidly thinking that a woman determines the gender of a child, let's shift from that. We're all getting more and more enlightened, more and more educated. Yeah. We can do better. You know, and we should not encourage men to think that, oh, I have male children, I have female children, so I need to go and look for another one from another woman. But all children are from God. It's what God decided that this is what's going to be there. That's going to be there. You can't change it. It's just nature. So some men don't really understand that. They feel that man's stuff is their... is their best right. I don't really... As in like, some people hold it like... But something else. But you should understand that um, it is very difficult to change belief and culture. <laughs> to change a character is easier to change a belief and culture. Mm. Why? Okay, because, so let me ask you one question. Because, because your belief and culture was molded while you were a baby to who you are in your adulthood. Mm. And your behavior, you picked it personally along the way. Mm. So what you see regularly, even though it might be wrong, because you see it every time growing up, it becomes the right thing. So that is why it's so okay. difficult to change the narrative of the culture in one night. It is a gradual process. And at the moment, the thing is working faster because of social media and because information is going everywhere and people are seeing new okay. stories every day so it's easier for them to start changing that culture and belief little by little not easy but little by little you can't just force it you want to force it then that's when you start seeing a u-turn mm. that's how human beings are when you force certain things against some trans culture then the defensive mechanism kicks in so, I don't understand. Who is writing rest in peace? What's going on? We lost somebody. Oh, you've not heard. Because, Daddy Fizz, I don't know. I'm having a problem with my... I don't even know. For days now, Daddy Fizz, when you're alive, I don't get a notification. I don't know what's... I've been having that problem for days now, you know. Until I come on the page. Before, I used to get notification when you're alive, you know. Mm. But I don't know. Maybe I have to, I have to um, reset my phone again. I don't really... Who, who died? I, I don't get it. The act so I just came back from work. Junior Pope. <laughs> Can you guys so still see me and hear me? I'm just making sure. Yes, we can. Yes, yeah, we can. Is it so my son the Wi-Fi? Yes, he passed on. May he so rest in peace. Jesus Christ. Fuck. I don't... I'm so speechless. So good. Oh, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I mean, so rest in peace. Was he sick? He had a boat, apparently a boat um, mishap. And, and I even want us to talk about that. Safety. <laughs>
on our rivers. Boats are on the water every day. Um, how can we ensure that our waterways are safer? It's not safer than the freezer. If it's, it's not, that, um, that it's about how do we ensure it. going forward? What lessons have we learned? Going forward, what lessons have we learned? I'm just. I think that the freeze. I think they have to like the people that runs this place and the the employee. I think they have. They need a good experience before you take someone to go and do a boat cruise. Hmm. I think they have to really do a good research for the weather and the people that they are taking. If, if the weather is, let me say, if you go to another imagine, country, you okay, want to do a boat capsized. Cruise. The boat capsized. Did did they not have safety equipment? No. Uh, what about the 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 the, the life um, life jacket? So, jacket. You see, sometimes even if you have life jacket, if you enter inside current in the water. I've seen this yeah. happen before. I remember in Bodija. You know, there was a time when it rained, Bodija would be flooded. So there was a time I witnessed it once. We used to have a gym opposite a club in Bodija called Platinum Night Club. If you grew up in Ibadan, you remember Platinum Cotton Club. Club. Yeah, yeah, Cotton, Cotton Club is at the other end of the road. Yeah. Platinum Night Club is at the beginning of that same road that leads all the way down to Cotton Club. It was owned by one guy called Bodabi, Abbey of London. Abbey of London. Yeah, anybody will go Ibadan, we Sabi Ibadan, go remember But I'm an Ibadan boy now. Uh -huh. So that was Platinum. What, 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 did you school in Ibadan? Yes, of course. Uh -huh. what I grew up in Ibadan. What school did you go to? Ah, many schools. Oh, yeah, from, from OBMS to State of Life to Austin's OBMS College. OBMS of, 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 of um, Orita Mefa Baptist School. Mother School, oh. Seed of Life, okay. Austin's College, then King's National College. Although I was in ISF for probably a week or so. I, I saw you stubborn, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> we started driving when we were 13, so... Uh, uh, me too. I started driving when I was... I started warming car when I was 10. Then they give me key to go one more to when I was 10 years old. <laughs> no, <ago>. man, <laughs> By the time I was 12, I don't they drive for area as in Yeah, because would, the roads were good. Uh, you can drive around and quiet. Drive moto. By the time I was 13, they don't they beat me on top moto. <laughs> no, that if it's that, that my junior sister, the one I'm senior to, uh uh the uh, the eleven years old boy. I'm telling you, Deva, <laughs> that guy, mm. then they beat so, like a start car. So, they won't call my sister car. So, um, there was one particular day, you know, um, if you are coming from that Cotton Club Road, not the Songo end, you know, uh, that Cotton Club Road, there's a Songo end and a Bodija end. If you are coming out of that Bodija end and you take a, a right towards Custom Secretariat, there's yes, a river yes. like, going down. Going down. From secretariat. Mm -hmm. So, anytime there's heavy rain, that river gets flooded. It, God did, yes, before this guy came onto the flyover. Yes, God bless you. So there was this particular incident. We had very heavy rainfall. I was <laughs> in number one. That is the, the house exactly opposite Platinum Nightclub. It was So So Deaf Records. So it, there used to be a gym there. So we used to gym and we used to record music and do all sorts of things. So because the rain was heavy, we all came out. Everywhere was flooded. Cars could not pass. Was really The water was really high. It happens often in Bodija. So there were these area boys that were paying, that people were paying to carry them across the water. So there was yeah. a way they were moving in the currents. So one guy don't first carry one person cross. <laughs> so he get another guy that they call the name Ege. Ege means cassava. <laughs> so again, we be area boy. Oh, they, they you know normal area tout. So again, can say in fit carry person across. Ah, people can they fear. So in one can show them 
how Ingo take cross Naso again begin the waka inside on the main road though. The Ino entered the river. The, the river was going under the road, but the river had overflowed over the road. So he was crossing the road. Omoin just sleep. As he sleep like this, the water just move up. We were trying to rescue people from a house behind that uh, number one house. So where we did, we just see person they go inside water. Hey, hey, hey. We just see and hold on to banana plant. Because the water carry banana plants too, they come in her hold the banana plant. As you hold the banana plant, next thing, brr, we don't see them again. So people come run from the main road, come meet us where we did because the, the part of the river passed that side. This now people houses. Oh. One woman, they bathroom, they bath when the flood come. They bring them out like that, she not wear clothes. People tie chain to themselves, enter the house, go bring them out, she not wear clothes. Now when she come out, there be people with the game. Person will come out, shed, give her to wrap herself. Person, will, uh, they shall dress them outside. So where we go, we they try bringing the people from there. We just see again, they bob up like this inside the water. <laughs> now swear, get they go. People, people come run, come meet us. Say, share guru again. For your brother that means, did you see again? Let me say, get in there, get on go. They, they, they talk and like laugh. We, now, so we don't take see again again. Five days later, where will they chop mm. Amala? Now, some people come, they say they don't see a gay body. Mm. We now went, it was me and one of my cousins called Chima. We now entered the bush. Waka we waka reach 45 minutes to go see a gay. We can't mm. see him, but he don't swell. Mm. Inside bush where the water passed through so you need to understand how dangerous water i know you know which one was passed whether now water or fire ah. you know, i have seen here. that again instance gave me a glimpse into water on a rampage you don't want to ever experience it in your life water on ramp so i can only imagine what could have some people say i ah, did he not have vest if a guy get vest that day he know if he fight that water and that's not even a real river that is a small river that's just a free. small river oh. that's a small river we just turn, we flood turn them to big thing <laughs> this is so sad so ah, so God. we need you see abroad there's what you call the national ntb is it ntb national a transportation review board or something like that they will have started investigation on this accident most of the most of the crews are not even wet service that they freeze you know what you know what let us come back you. because instagram okay. is going to remove me so maybe i'll just grab okay. five minutes or ten minutes of rest and then okay. we'll come back and let us talk about junior pope what yeah. could have happened okay. how can we prevent this occurrence going, going forward. forward so let me take a quick break and come right back okay okay all right, all right god great. bless you okay. all uh i'll you. be back in a moment all right darling thank you, bye. 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 Thank thank you, you brother bye.